Hi, I'm Claire from The Kitschy Kitchen, and this is 10 Second Living, where I show you how to do practically anything in 10 seconds or less. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make Tom and Jerry, not the cartoon characters, the classic holiday cocktail. And this is kind of like the hot, cousin to eggnog. It is egg-based, it is creamy, it is rich, but it is also served warm, and it's really easy to put together. So what I'm showing you is a really pared down recipe, so you can feel free to sort of duplicate it as much as you want, depending on how big your party is. But this is enough for, I'd say, like three to four people, depending on how much they plan on drinking. So here's what you need. I have one egg divided. So that means I have the yolk over here, the white over here. I then have a, I guess I'd say like around like two and a half teaspoons of super fine sugar also divided. And then for my spices, I'm doing a big fat pinch of nutmeg, like a pinch of allspice, and then like an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then for my booze and milk, I have three quarters cup of rum and cognac, but you can switch in bourbon if you want. You could lose the cognac, lose the rum, but I really like rum and cognac for this. And then one and a quarter cups of whole milk. So let's get started. Whisk egg whites and half the sugar until stiff. Whisk the yolk, sugar, and spices until thick. Fold together and chill. Heat up the milk and booze, then combine everything in a mug. My Tom and Jerry is done. I cannot wait to try it. It's warm, it's comforting, it smells great. And full disclosure, I had to do this recipe because I have the perfect mugs for it, look. My cousin Rachel got these for me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I've never gotten to use them until today, so I'm very excited. All right, time to give it a try. Mmm, that's really nice. It's kind of like a lighter, warm version of eggnog, so it's definitely less heavy. There's not as much cream, there's no, really not that many egg yolks in it, so it definitely has like a lighter flavor profile, and it's just really yummy. I like this a lot. And word to the wise, when you're using raw eggs in any application, you wanna make sure you're using pasteurized eggs. So safety first, use pasteurized eggs when you're making drinks like this or eggnog or anything like that. So, cheers. For more recipes like this one, check out my blog, thekitschykitchen.com, and my new cookbook, The Kitschy Kitchen, available wherever books are sold.